Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. I am joined today by two of the best free to play players on the planet. Uh, we've just done our free to play challenge for 2024, and we've got uh, Karim Panda and JS with us here, who basically came first and second in the free to play challenge. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through some of their secrets, look through their accounts, and I guess let them talk us through how we should actually play this game. Uh, so, I guess firstly, Mr. Panda, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. I'm good. Thanks for having me today. So just talk us through, Panda, how long have you been playing Raid 4? And you know what, what kind of like attracted you to the free-to-play challenge? Yeah, actually, I try to remember. Um, I think it was very OG before like Faction Wars came out. Like I had a first account, but uh, stopped okay. playing then. It was, I don't know, maybe before you or like it was the same time. And then... Um, I started like a new account in 2019, 20, and um, what I still remember is uh, that I was stuck in a silver arena. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> for, for how to get there, and then I searched uh, in Google, and I found your video. Uh, it was how to how to get to silver arena or something. And this was like the first time I got in touch with content creators, sharing knowledge about the game and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, cool. And right. Damn. That's uh. That's I actually kind of remember that video. I think I think I can remember picture of the thumbnail in my head. Uh, <laughs> weirdly. <laughs> um, yeah. And and I know that you weren't playing raid before. You know, as we launched this challenge. So kind of what got you involved in in this one? Yeah. So basically, I was um, yeah stopped playing raid. Stopped my main account, which is. I can say it's like a pay to win or definitely not free to play account. Um, sure. I've been uh, already free to play in, in the past. Yeah, so maybe in total I played like, uh, I don't know, like almost 10 accounts. Like I did the referrals for my main and stuff. So I would say I was like quite experienced, um, Yeah. which was obviously also um, required if you want to progress so fast in such a short uh, period of time. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, I guess let's go over to JS then. Before we go through accounts, JS, similar sort of question to you, really, man. Like, what what got you involved? How long have you been playing for? Uh, so I've been playing for around four years, I think. I started pretty early, and um, yeah. I never like got very competitive. I I'm not a huge spender. I just enjoy the game, watching the uh the key, like the YouTuber videos. I just enjoy the community as a whole. It's a pretty nice cool. game, and I, I I find the community of Raid Shadow Legends one of the best out there. So I just love like being a part of it. And uh, and last year competition. Uh, I tried uh, to start it. I think I played like five five days, and I right. got too busy at work. I got too many, too too much stuff to do, and I just quit it and uh, never got back to it. And this year, actually, so I I started like uh, a day later than everyone, and oh, did I you? didn't plan yeah. at at all at, at at all to to do the competition. And I think like within the the three first day, I pulled like a Farrakh in the fat. And nice. uh, I I ended up like um, uh, pass, passing people like that started 24 out like it, within the five first first days I was like in top 10, and I was yeah. like okay I have a day late later maybe I, I I can I can like do good on that competition so I went I, I went just all in, and um, and yeah me and Panda were just like uh, we were head to head like. Like the whole three months, it was it was a like pretty pretty intense competition between me and him. And so, um, yeah, yeah, it was oh, yeah. it was very nice three months. I, I I'm just like competitive like by nature, and sure. I just enjoy enjoy the 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 competition, you know. Yeah, I, I can already see it now. Like before we go through the accounts, I can see the comments will always uh, will be something like. These guys had to have spent, or these guys, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, basically cheated in some way or hacked in some way. Like, just looking at your point score, man. Like, Panda 1500, oh, sorry, 15,000, JS yeah. 16,000. You know, I went pretty hard in this competition. I'd say for 70 odd days, I, I, I had a bit of a drop off for a couple of weeks, honestly, but still, I went pretty hard and I'm under 7,000 points. So you've got over double my score in three months, which. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. seem in my and, head like it should be possible to do. <laughs> but I would so. say I, I might have like a double your score, but you probably have triple my my sleep in three months. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it was like sleepless nights after sleepless nights. I have like a full time job. I wanted to still manage to play the main account, so it was like a it was a a long three months. Honestly, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of effort. People don't appreciate how much effort it is to to put the grind in. Like this is a grind to do these type of points. So. Oh yeah, def- uh, it was a definite grind. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's kick off then. So Panda, talk us through. Maybe we just start on your roster here. Three mm-hmm. months in, I notice you don't have like basically any resources. So that's what I would expect to see from someone who's like yeah. cutting it as as fine as they can. Um, you know, talk us through what what's your biggest achievement? Would you say in the three months? Yeah, definitely. I would say it's the uh, Doom Tower hard clear. Um, I was pushing for this, and um, also what uh, JS um, said before, like um, like the competition between uh, between the two of us. Uh, pushed myself to even go harder, like relentless, like um, basically before in the accounts, I had the mentality of, ah, I can do that tomorrow. Yeah, it's too hard. Uh, it's not worth the time and effort. I wait for like another champ or some upgrades or some leveling. No, this time it was really like, I have to do this um, today. I knew like he was um, like one day behind me because he started to talk yeah, about, like yeah. later. And then I was like, okay. Um, I have like the whole day to clear it, but if I don't clear it um, until the reset, he might be before me. Yeah. So, and so, yeah. so hold on. You, you are you saying you cleared floor one twenty on Doom Tower hard? Yeah, yes. we both did. We both did. Oh damn! I didn't realize it was hard. Damn, that's actually yeah, insane. It was hard. Wow. Yeah, my, mine didn't record it because I I didn't have the extractor running when I did, and I didn't want to do it again. But uh, we both cleared uh, our Doom Tower. Wow, that is absolutely nuts. So yeah, when... 100% clear. Yeah. Is it this one this here? One the... like yeah. yeah, so it actually doesn't, it doesn't um, on the leaderboard, doesn't let us know that this is hard, right? Which is, oh, I guess yeah, it I does, 99, 119. Yeah, okay, so everything beneath this is normal. Wow, that's absolutely bonkers to clear... 120 hard within three months of Doom Tower. Yeah, but uh, I, I would say without Armands, any, any of this w- wouldn't be uh, possible. Yeah. Yeah. Armands yeah. Like, uh, I, I like, because at the, at the floor, uh, like the floor 110 to 120, like yeah. it, just the normal floors are fucking crazy. Like, yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry I swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet though. So Armands is just basically enabling you to get through the waves, right? Because for the boss, he's not. It's not that big a deal, I guess, is he? But no, no, we no, didn't no. use it for the bus. No, no, but for the waves, he's he's incredible. Yeah, basically, he was uh, like a full support team in the end just to survive this fight, and it was like very hard. But I didn't need so many tries. Um, yeah, I had to figure out like um, in the end, it was like letting Mordecai die to revive him. He was arbiter, and then have like the proper with all the turn meter push. Like um, I needed the. Uh, the, uh, the increase accuracy from Claude. Okay. Then you had enough accuracy to land the burn. Yeah, which brings the spider down in the end. Yeah. 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 That's uh, honestly that's that's blown me away. I can't believe you both cleared a hard rotation of Doom Tower in three months. Um, it's nuts. Yeah, like, even yeah. even clearing the the normal stuff all the way. I think a lot of us did it. A lot of us got to. And uh, did you do? I guess you did all of the others as well in in terms of normal. Um, yes. Yeah. To yeah. see you guys here, but um. But yeah, even clearing like the normal stuff was tough. You know, there was certainly before Armand's popped up, it was tough to to beat some of the later waves, and and obviously some of the bosses were pretty tough. So, were you looking at your rosters as you were getting champs? I, would, I guess let's look at yours for now, Karim. Mm-hmm. Were you looking at rosters thinking, right, I need this champion level because of a certain boss? You know, or were you kind of like, I'm stuck here now? Now I look at my roster and decide who's going to help me. Which which kind of direction do you go? Yeah. Um... I have also like um, like a list there. like what uh, what did I do in terms of um, how did I approach the challenge and yeah well uh, maybe maybe yeah perhaps run us through some of those things that would be cool actually it'd be cool to see what you think your main kind of mm. I guess talking points for other people to get get some info from yeah and for the roster it's um, like a meta consideration like it starts with okay who would choose as a starter I mean. Obviously, Kale's like first choice. Um, I think yeah. it's not uh, not a big discussion. Then I went for Deacon. Um, 
I think it was a very good choice. Um, yeah, it was. It was. It's maybe alongside with uh, Miscreated Monster the best choice. Even though, I mean, you see, I pulled a Mordecai. Um, yeah. But even if I wouldn't have uh, get Mordecai, I don't know if I could have cleared some content so fast, but definitely for the start is Deacon. Um, but would you much... say, though, because I've had a few chats around this with other people, so it feels like from from what I've I've kind of like gleaned from other people, miscreated monster hard carry from day one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. For the first month, I I think miscreated monster is the best choice. And yeah. after a month, like Deacon goes. Deacon go, overtakes. Go, yeah, overtakes. Yeah. Yeah, and and I feel like because we weren't allowed legendaries mm-hmm. late game, if you weren't lucky enough to pull a burn. I think you might have struggled a bit with some content for not having the Mordecai, especially because we weren't using Legos. And there's more, there's more burners out there now than there ever were. But still, it's, it's a, I still think it's a tough choice. Like long, long-term Deacon's definitely the best champion of the three. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, like that early game, I noticed people with Mistreated Monster just kind of flew into the lead in terms of getting through some campaign stuff and, and some Doom Tower stuff, actually. I mean, for, for me, Miscreant Monster is the reason I, I was uh, I was ahead at first. Like, yeah. Oh, I, you started with Miscreant Monster, did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. And like, my plan was to to just rush to Nightmare cam- Nightmare campaign and try to to clear as much Nightmare as possible to get the, those like juicy rewards. Yeah. And uh, for a long time, I was like uh, number one on on a Nightmare campaign. Like, I, I think I had like over two hundred stars when people had like fifty stars on nightmare sure yeah it's crazy so. yeah um okay Krim, keep keep going through your list you know so you sort of said starter um you know epic that you should get what what's next for you yeah um so i was also thinking about the order of six starring um one of the things i did was uh, i didn't rush like 100 percent too strong uh, to get tail first to 60 i let him a bit longer on 50 uh, sure. but overall already started to build from day one a certain kind of roster yeah like kept any rare and was thinking twice or three times should i feed this should i really feed this or yeah do i keep it and this goes together with the faction wars yeah so um, i saw that some people they pushed really like a lot of stars in faction wars and then i thought hey maybe i can do this as well and every day like a new faction came up the first thing on the day I was um, uh, analyzing, can I uh, beat like the first six stages or so? Do I have like um, AOE, um, like this, uh, what is uh, the, the lizard man, uh, the uncommon, yeah, who has like yeah. AOE all the time. And yeah, so on the one hand you get the rewards, but um, there's another thing, it's, it's like a concept. Um, called uh, pushing the envelope yeah it's like a general like engineering concept so i was trying like to like to build an envelope yeah like um to get a broad, broad roster and then with that one i could push like all the content so and, and did you, when you went like early on a champion like that mm-hmm. did you keep them and and maintain them for your faction wars or did you eventually just use them as like a, a feedable champ yeah, um, mostly I kept, but f- for example, for Sacred Order, like I fed a lot and then uh, just recently I rebuilt um, the teams. Yeah, so I had like the stars in the bank and then yeah, um, I just, so at some point I had like Mordecai and um, and Deacon, they were basically soloing a lot of stuff, but I just had like one star uh, in some stages and then sure. um, just like yesterday I built like a full team. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Enjoy, I'm just looking at your through your ranks here. Where, where would you rate yourself in terms of luck of pulls mm-hmm. over this three months? Yeah, luck is also uh, on my list. Um, yeah, I would take a controversial uh, take here and said uh, say um, yes, I'm lucky, but I'm lucky uh, because of what I did, like how many shots I got. Yeah, so. You, yeah, we've talked about this, uh, me and Karim, and it's like yeah. we create, we we both created our luck because we were grinding so much. Like, sure. uh, I feel like y- luck is involved, but like, if you don't work as hard as us, then you won't be as lucky as us. You won't get as many shards to have get yeah. lucky with, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. But I'm surprised that you've got Legos here. I'm, I'm surprised they're not fed yeah. in, into, you know, other six stars to, to boost your account power. Honestly, did, like, did I'm you fed some Legos, uh, Karim? Yeah, I fed one. Oh, you uh, did early. Okay. How many, how many yeah. did you feed? Uh, I fed one Lego. Uh, one. Cost, um, I don't know exactly the names, like the, the banner lord was the, um, if you go on banner lords, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Lugan. Ah, uh, Lugan. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it was, a good chicken. It was like, uh, how to say, um, like a knife in my heart, uh, because I Yeah. <laughs> was that early on to get yourself a bit of pace going? It was um, when I rushed for Arbiter. Uh, oh, okay. I yeah. finished like, this, uh, this odd one, shout outs to him. He just, uh, he, uh, he just became father today or yesterday yeah. um yeah so we we both had like day 52 arbiter um i think yeah that's insane we yeah faster and yeah even mullet river like day yeah mullet river was <laughs> crazy fast yeah <laughs> but i i think like mullet river like focused on only arbiter mission like we, we had a broader broader focus uh, ourselves like we we trying to push the points our focus uh, was points uh, uh, like if, around just the points and like mullet river was just arbiter 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 is just yeah uh, so so was... so when you say you focus on points then like well, does that mean you were spreading yourself across the whole game yeah across quite all early the, on. like all content yeah early on we yeah. had to yeah, interesting. we had to and and if so let's say you weren't doing a competition like like the challenge we did do you think you would you would do the same thing? Would you just kind of like try and push all areas of the game or would you have been a bit more focused on, I don't know, say the Arbiter missions or a certain bit of content? Yeah, um, there, are, there are a lot of things I would have done differently. Yeah, like if I know I, I play the, I mean, I still want to continue the account just because yeah. it's like a lot of fun. And I think um, even like the most important tip I would give like to other players, have fun in the game. It's a game in the end. Um, nobody is paying you to play the game. You play it for yourself. You can yeah. set yourself to stop. And if you don't have fun, then it's just like you will also not put the dedication in the game. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would have, for example, opened the gem mine yeah, from not like day one. I mean, maybe get the masteries for the first uh, one or two champs. Um, yeah. yeah. So, I, did, I did you buy mas? Did you save all gems and buy masteries on? Two champions first? Yeah, two or three, definitely. And then I uh, farmed. Yeah. Did you do the same, JS? Yeah, same. The the two first, like, was Kale and uh, Miscreate and Monster. And then yeah. the rest farmed. Sure. And one thing I'm interested in, I'm just taking a look at the Great Hills. I know you've got quite a... Yeah, man, that's just crazy. So in three months, man, you've got so much growth in your Great Hall. Yeah. It's actually insane. Like, if you uh, switch to the area bonuses, this became another important factor. Now, <laughs> okay, wow, what the hell? Yeah, this is absolutely I mean, nuts. I, I have to mention, like, uh, Panda Live Arena, he fucking hit gold one. <laughs> like, what? I'm not even, go yeah, he's in gold one right now, I think. Oh my god, this like, is look actually at his gold crazy. Bars. <laughs> it's crazy, man. This guy, I, can't Live believe, Arena? I cannot believe this. <laughs> That is insane. You've got yeah. way more than I've got on my main account right now. Yeah. Right? That's crazy. <laughs> it's also more than on my own main account. <laughs> how, are you, how have you done that? Like I basically do 15 fights per day. Uh, it's like 10 gems uh, per day for the first uh, refill. And um, the matchmaking they do is not based on the tier you are in. It's somehow... Um, yeah, connected to your oh really power or something. Oh, okay. So it's it's not like um, I beat like all the terraces and Marishas and some stuff, but sometimes um, like I know I have a chance if the player level is below hundred. Yeah. So if it's like hundred, then I'm already skeptical, and uh, you yeah. see that fifty percent win rate is maybe it's the match making they do, and so to to keep the players. Um, playing it the game interested mode, yeah. Points, yeah but it's um, that is actually nuts that is uh fair play like man that is crazy stuff i just because, it comes back to what you were saying though doesn't yeah. it like because and so i did this all the way up until maybe silver two in this competition and I, I got to the point where i felt like i was losing a lot more but even to that point you know the rewards that you pick up in the milestones it's all 
giving you extra shards and extra energy and extra chickens and stuff. You're getting gear from time to time. Like it's all, it all helps, doesn't it? Everything helps towards this yes. kind of like goal, just pushing content as far as you can. Yeah, you can imagine like I'm. Um... Um, so when we are playing, we are like uh, like a monster who is hunting for just for everything it can eat. Yeah. So like yeah, every gem, yeah. every silver, every energy. Yeah. We try and, to and would you somewhere. say you you were like, um, re uh, what's the, what's the word I'm trying to be like? Oh, it's really precise, as in like you didn't waste things. Yeah, I think I had a high accuracy, but um, I also uh, wasted like energy and uh, sometimes the clan boss key or so on. But um, I would say accuracy of maybe like ninety-five uh, percent, like um, not letting overflow energy, not letting uh, yeah. clan boss key overflow and stuff. And and how did you find find that as you know in terms of you personally? So I, I said in my video today, I don't know if you saw it, mm -hmm. but. I basically got to the point when I got Armand, I did back-to-back -back fusions and I was like, and, and I was away at the time actually for business stuff with Fateless and I was just kind of like, I am burnt. So I needed a couple of days and that couple of days ended up becoming more like a week and a half, two weeks because mm -hmm. once I'd stopped the grind, like my body kind of was just like, oh, I don't know if I can go back to it. You know, it was like, it was, it, so for me, it was like a mental thing. Once I hit Armand, that pretty much killed my momentum for a while. Um, yeah, I I think for for the mod motivation, we me and and uh, Panda like kept each other motivated because every time like we couldn't we couldn't take a day off because if you if we would like <laughs> the other guy would just jump over and so yeah we kept yeah. we kept each other motivated you know yeah in a yeah. healthy way in a healthy way. <laughs> yeah. I have to say on the day uh, when I cleared like the Doom Tower uh, heart, um, I was. I had like mentally uh, like an issue like I had thought like okay if I don't do it then I like quit the challenge or something like it was like really I wanted like yeah. to do it so much like to be like the first one to do it yeah because yeah it's phenomenal point, stuff man it's absolutely crazy that you're doing that that yeah. is at that, and, and... at that point uh, JS he already put uh, high hydra scores out and so I thought like okay he will finish like the first overall and I don't see a chance to catch him anymore so I was looking like for, yeah yeah my my can... hydra I like I think that after my yeah. hydra score like there yeah. there was just no way for you to yeah, it was 30 mil uh, yeah. 130 million on normal but, yeah uh, if you if you go too hard uh, hydra hard yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, but, yeah. So 30 mil on hard. Oh, 30 mil. Oh, oh you did 30. Uh, That's good, yeah. bro. Actually, it didn't count anymore because there was like some confusion when the challenge ended. So it was like really like in the last minute. Um, oh, really? Um, like originally it was something like uh, uh, 8 p.m. UTC, but then the challenge ended like 7. And I basically at 7, I was thinking, do I log in or do I try again? And one thing I also have to say is like um, JS and me, we were not like um, enemies or something. Like we were. Oh no, we definitely like grew a friendship over yeah. this challenge. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Uh, yeah, you got, like, like two people going like head to head because you two have been pretty much up there. For, like like you said, I'm JS. You start the day late, but you two have been like neck and neck. I'd say from about day three. Is that right? I, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like Draven maybe was up there initially. I'm pretty yeah, sure it was Draven. You can compare it maybe to like a triathlon, like first uh, everyone goes swimming and then after some while when they go on the bike, you see like uh, who really has a chance yeah, to win it. Yeah, so Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, one of the things which is bonkers, honestly, for you, Karim, is your speed of your arbiter. Yeah, I don't know. I, sure, arbiter. I, I want to see. Like, Damn. So this one, and it's, it's not even as fast as you've had it. So I guess you had... But no, I think yeah. the, the 340 is with the area bonuses when he did like is a Hydra, I think. He has a 10 more speed on Hydra. Oh, maybe it did look it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but, I think that, um, that's... Yeah, this is... I have the boots uh, with a full Ascension. So Ascension is another important, important thing which is um, lately introduced, like last year. I think we didn't have, yeah. have it. Also, we can like reroll. So I rerolled like if you go on these boots maybe you see like how many times i rerolled uh, they're the only first. 10 speed on the weapon if you go on uh, the last one ascent 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. It. Yeah, he reworked it three, oh, three times. So yeah. he, he got enough oh, dust to rework it three times. That's kind of nuts as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the point. I was, I really wanted to have the boots like this. And uh, what uh, luckily was the helmet and the chest. They are yeah. Oh, here. damn. Yeah. The helmet. Yeah, these are crazy. nice. Yeah. But it, it, like, it does show it. Like, you're still wearing a four star piece here. It's not like, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and it's rare and it's, it's epic stuff. It's, people assume that you would need all legendary six star gear, super crazy rolls to get over 300 speed. But, you know, here we are. Okay, you've got good rolls. Don't get me wrong, but not anything too silly, honestly. Like, no, it's just the, the boots and the helmets. The helm is particularly good. And actually, your banner is particularly good. Oh, the banner, good. yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah. It's not like you've got crazy glyphs everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's a, but that's, again, phenomenal. Is, is there some something that you would call out here? Like, you know, when events are running, were you all in for speed gear or, or, or did you kind of still just spread yourself across the whole game? Mm, I was paying attention in events to these uh, resources for Ascension because um, Sand Devil is pretty hard to farm. Um, we yeah, just, like, yeah, yeah. Um, we have like the lower tier of getting like the second, uh, like this, uh, the middle tier essence. Um, and yeah, obviously, you cannot fully send with it. So, uh, but I think of the Rasalos, uh, Soul Chase, uh, there were some or here and there. Yeah, so yeah, they, g they gave a bit of uh, essence there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so actually, so, yeah, so you got a four star soul. I guess that was from the Soul Chase event, was that? Yeah. And that was also very, uh, very, very important for the overall progress. This soul, yeah. This, like this build is kind of nuts as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that crit speed. damage. I mean, yeah, nearly three hundred percent crit damage. That's crazy. Yeah. Which is a crazy build, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's a nuts build in three months. That is a crazy build, especially when you <laughs> you start yeah. to factor in, you know, some of your extra stats that you've picked up from the area bonuses. Wow, mm -hmm. it's that's really really cool. Um, is there any other builds that you would call out? You know, worth a, a yeah. Rasalos is uh, probably the best build on the account. Um, Abita yeah. would call out that I built her very tanky um, in terms sure. of high HP. I mean, yeah, like two point seven k defense is like not not the best, but um, she's even got enough accuracy to actually use her yeah, A two, which that's is something I built in lately. I didn't have for a long time, and it's... yeah. If you, she's such a great champ in PvE, uh, you cannot imagine. Like, um, mm. it was maybe like my fifth or sixth, uh, six star, and um, also the Doom Tower hard clear would have not been possible without Arbitrum. Yeah, and I see you've got um, Raz in here, so mm -hmm. I assume that's just you, you picked up the epics along the way, did you, for the Raz infusion? Um, I picked up one epic and the other Raz. Yeah. Oh, did you? Wow. Yeah, like kind of Karim, well. Karim kept 100% of his rear, I think. Yeah, that's pretty pretty mad. Uh, do you find you use him? Um, yeah, he's not too much important. Um, yeah, this is a champ. In the end, I just wanted to build him. Yeah, like uh, just for yeah. fun. It's, yeah, it's not. I mean, so I, least, I I personally have felt like he's been mm -hmm. a bit power crept in this game. Like when he was first added as a fusion, we were all like, amazing! What a great permanent fusion to add like a really good champ but i don't know just i i i personally don't feel like he's even worth going for like versus just you know continuous in having those points in champion chase available mm. the main place is not centranos i would say but apart from yeah that, yeah that's fair really... yeah and faction was yeah faction was i mean <laughs> okay, and in your armand you left at five star got the yeah. four star soul which is pretty yeah, cool as well. This was also a choice um, not to six star him to save like resources for other champs like Ugo. Yeah. Yeah. I got late, but um because I wanted to beat the Hydra score and push there, like to have a chance still in the challenge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ugo was the the choice over a champ like Armand's. Yeah. You mentioned um Sintranos. Mm -hmm. Did you have any good runs in any of the Sintranos maps? Yeah, I was actually pushing hard for the rotation before, and I reached uh, Amius on normal. Oh, you did? Yeah. And I was, um, this is something I would also like to call out uh, from my um, how to, how I approach the game. Um, mm. I played World of Warcraft in the past. I think you played yeah, yeah. 
too. Yeah. So there's something uh, you call like progress when you're progressing your boss. Yeah. So first you you try him just um, just like the first try, like with your full array. Then you analyze like um, do I have a chance? Uh, so in this terms, like what is my roster? Do I have a chance for my analysis to beat the boss? And then you try it again, you retune until you think, okay, I can beat him, I just need to push uh, more stats. Yeah, so, and the boss, um, the hard one to get the third key was uh, the um, the Scarab plus, what was it, like the spider, spider on... Uh, or the yeah, Scarab and spider, spider in the P section, yeah. And in the end, I did it um, like 45 minutes before the rotation was closing. Um, right. And Basically, it was uh, had to six star Magna to put him in destroy with uh, Magna is maybe a build we can look in. It's funny. Uh, it also shows you this new um, um, what's the name? The, of these um, what do you get from the soul and the what was that? Sorry, it also shows. Um, yeah, if you go to Magna and then yeah. And Guilds the emergency heal. It's a okay. very interesting blessing, which um, I also saw some videos. Uh, it works very good with the ring together. Yeah, with the blood shield. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, 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 for sure for the like the scarab boss. Yeah, so I use that a, on Ugo too. Yeah, he the, has a high yeah. HP, so he benefits from his own HP and um, in destroy. So yeah, he was like MVP for that fight. Yeah, to to uh, take down Bogos. I had like uh, a few other champs in blood shield ring and yeah. Yeah, and nice. At that point, um, if you scroll down a little, uh, there's uh, the five. Star, yeah, uh, um, be below or uh, Tauga or uh, next to uh, this guy. Uh, yeah, to to go. Yeah. So I basically, threw like eight or ten Lego books into him. Um, <laughs> <Did you? laughs> just to just to yeah. see Amios and not beating him. Yeah. This was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which revive, yeah. yeah. Which rare? Uh, Karim told me he put some Lego books in a rare. Yeah. Also, I put uh, Lego books into the dwarf. Um, uh yeah, Avir. Yeah. Uh, not not Avir, Avir yeah. but the other one. <laughs> like, oh, that's oh, crazy. Not, um, the butcher. Master butcher. Yeah. Yeah, he still as well. Yeah. Like three or four. Yeah. Uh, because at that time I tried uh, to push a bomber heart. Was this bomber? Uh, yeah. Fifty. I couldn't beat it, but uh, it was close and uh, did like, I don't know, 50 tries, 100 tries. <laughs> what what did you do for Bommel normal? Mm, when you what, beat like normal 90? Yeah, there what? I have to give a shout out to the community because uh, some they were sh uh, showing this like a wrestler setup. Um, yeah, basically he can go with a fifth hit and then uh, he does like, uh, I don't know, like uh, 60, 70% of the boss health applying a, a brimstone and yeah then it's just like taking down the rest yeah like oh, okay nice yeah. so you just you just basically rushed it with mm -hmm. a big hit from raffalos and you saw the raffalos he now smacks for one million in the setup yeah um, with attack up and uh hp burn yeah uh it's very cool well i, I guess what we're gonna do we'll just switch to js's account mm -hmm. um obviously karim if you've got other info to bring up just just call it out as we're going um but I mean, awesome to see. Like, it's just extremely crazy, honestly. Some of the achievements, extremely crazy. Uh, let's just flip over here. So, JS, the actual winner. Congratulations, yep. man. Like, Thank considering you. I think we had maybe 1,200 people in the mix. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, 1,200 or 1,300, something like that. Yeah, which, you know, and, and to be fair, amongst that, you know, 50 odd content creators who, you know, at least half were going hard. So you know, people yeah. that that make a living out of playing this game and you know showing showing ways to play the game that type of stuff. Um, so absolutely insane to to top it and to top it by such a massive like healthy lead as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess yeah, you you direct me. Where should we go first? Like what should we be looking at here? Okay, so uh, I mean I, I think the highlight of my account was my the the Hydra team. So if you go in my build for uh, like the Ugo my Ugo's build is the craziest thing on my account. Okay. L look at the stat and if you go in Hydra like look at the resistance, accuracy, oh, the health like it's crazy like uh, that that's the reason why I did so well in Hydra. 
because it was built it was built as my mischief tank he was cleansing he, keeping my team <laughs> healthy it he was he super fast uh he blocked the buff uh, def defense down like yeah. fully booked yeah nice the, Oh, fully booked, yeah. And the the amount of book I I I I had, like, if you look at my my uh, like, <coughs> do you still have any? No, I use them. All. No, no, I used it because I yeah. had to I had to rush in for a uh, champion training, so I use all my Legos book. But like, all my Legos are fully booked. If you go down, um, I'm looking here. I have uh, a few other uh, Legos as well down. Like Elva is almost fully booked. Oh, so you to, just use your books on? Yeah, for to make some f points during uh, champ training, I had yeah. to snipe to get the extra five. Uh, Theodore's Theodore. fully book. Uh, this one I just pulled yesterday, so uh, I didn't get okay, him. Nice. And, uh, and yeah, this guy as well. And 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 I guess same question to you as I asked earlier to Krim. So, where would you rate your luck level just on pulls? Uh, my my luck was actually not in pools, but I did get lucky with my Farrakhan like very early on, and that pushed me, uh, like that that helped me push through the early yeah. stages of the game. But afterward, I didn't I like I I didn't had no dec AOE decrease def defense for the I think the two first months. Oh, wow. I had no decrease attack champ until the two first months. Like Giscard is my only like a good de de decrease attack champ and it's only a one turn decrease yeah, attack. yeah I, I think i got discarded and i was like i don't want to build discard it just but it actually chip is actually very good man he, he carried me in so many different uh like i use him in hydra he's on my uh uh ultra nine mate ultra nightmare team and i is he? like yeah i, I want to say my uh, my um a clan bus team is not usual at all. I run no leech, no life steal gear, and I managed to did thirty eight million in the uh, ultra nightmare with no leech, no life steal. I didn't no run uh, uh, today. Got one I, today. I, yeah, I still have to so, run because I, I did my uh, the uh, the other one in fully auto. But uh, like, there's just the only healing I have is uh, arbiter and Nia. Wow. Yeah, and I I managed to to do like thirty eight million, which is crazy for me. Like so you, I didn't. So you've managed to sync it so that your ally protection. Is... Oh no no, there's no sync. Uh, it's one hundred percent manual every day. I manual it. Oh okay okay. Yeah, because there's it, like if I go fully auto, I'm doing like seventeen million. Yeah, so so discard is your only decrease attack champ. Yeah yeah, and I but well Farrakhan uh, helps me to. When I don't when I don't land it or it's only a one turn because I, I have the mastery to to boost it to two turn, yeah. then I I just use the ally attack and if the ally attack didn't work, I refresh the the cooldown with Nia. Ah oh, uh, okay. And uh, so, just so you're using the ally because you're using it manually. Nia yeah. is actually getting tons of value because that's the problem yeah. with Nia is. Yeah, Nia on auto, she she sucks. Like she, yeah. she she's not good. But uh, in manual, she's actually got tier. In clan sure. and um, yeah, yeah that's cool, it's actually. yeah. So I we, we actually uh, talked me and Panda because I was struggling to get a ultra nightmare. Like Panda had uh, probably uh, three weeks of ultra nightmare right uh, before me, and yeah, then 30, uh, so you hit thirty eight million. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I never crazy, expected to yeah. do that with that team. That is yeah, but the team nuts. is like it, it's uh, it's very like rng heavy so yeah. i'm running a relentless on uh ratalos and right. like the decrease attack is super rng and so so some runs i'm making like 20 25 millions in average yeah but some runs like ratalos just goes five five times in a row and then i'm i'm like i'm i'm going just faster. cranking up that damage yeah yeah just yeah. cranking up and I, cool. I i i thought like for I built that team just for uh, the challenge because I wanted to push to like the RNG side made me push uh, further than than most because yeah. I just need to to have that one lucky run, you know. Yeah, to get that's the it. points, and that's the difference, isn't it? With a challenge like this, it's like can I clock 
something which is going to hit me a ton of points. Yeah, and, exactly. That's that's yeah. that's how I, I I thought about it. So I just went full RNG and just every day manual every day, <laughs> and then one day I hit that thirty eight millions. Like, damn, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> I, I tell you what, it reminds me of. I, I'll be honest. I, I don't often do manual stuff unless it is like on a free to play challenge. Like, but when I first started playing raid. I manualed every clan boss key I yeah, ever right? had because I was just yeah. pushing. I was like, I want to get my best ever score, like you know. And I, yeah, and I had exactly. Champions which had a bit of RNG in their kit, like uh, I had like Warlord, and he was doing his A one. Can I get the props to like get my poisons up? And yeah, I I used to play every key fully manual because you know I was just so immersed in the game. I loved it so much that you know why not if you, if it's a yeah. game you you're enjoying that much. And I guess you like your your mindset is you're in the challenge and yeah you're gonna do the you best you can you gotta beat panda man <laughs> yeah yeah oh, that's cool my climb boss team was not speed tuned um and this is like um connected also with another point i would like to mention is uh, just try things yeah like uh, i learned this from my daughter like she's uh, like four years old and she's just trying everything so it's also what i do like in wait so I yeah. don't think about, can I really do it? I was just like, okay, I beat Nightmare, then just put my same team, not speed tuned, in Ultra Nightmare, and I saw like, okay, actually I did like, I don't know, the first try was uh, maybe 12 million or 40, 15 million on a void, and then from there up, I went improving it, and um, just late in the challenge, um, I realized there are a lot of points for it, and I thought, okay, let's just try to sub out KO. He brings poison. Yeah, we always um, have this knowledge about okay, you need poison for the clan boss. You need speed tune. You need uh, unkillable. No, I have. Um, it, I mean, JS and maybe we don't have any of these. So yeah, yeah. I, I guess I guess the anomaly here is that we were all given Raphalos, wasn't it? And Raphalos mm -hmm. yeah. actually guess, is is a you, beast in terms of yeah, like. Yeah boss damage like he, he like really does a ton of work so, sometimes is a2 they do like a 12 uh a million uh 1.2 million damage yeah on yeah one on a2 it's like crazy yeah. yeah yeah which i think it's been a fun a fun legendary to have actually for this challenge because yeah it was it made it, it made it very interesting like it opened up so many different like type of strategies yeah it was great crazy good for the challenge yeah yeah no that's cool well i guess we need to talk about this hydra team man because uh, well, uh, 130 million. Uh, so uh, <laughs> somehow my my hard team didn't clock in in the challenge, but oh, really? I did got the points from it. But uh, I did a hard run and I ended up did uh, doing 63 millions on uh, uh, damage on hard on hard as well. Yeah. So yeah. same team. I, I take it. Was that no? No. I I oh, no. switch up Scrank for uh, the Fat Man. Oh, because, did you? Uh, I would have thought Scrank would be so good for yeah, it. Yeah, but like uh, Scrank, Scrank, the thing about Scrank is like super squishy. And the way I build him is like he, he was only just damage oriented. If if right. you look at him, it's like all, all about damage. Like his kit feels he, he's all about damage. On uh, so on on normal, like he could survive. Yeah, but in oh, Artie, yeah, he was quite just, squishy you, actually. Yeah, yeah, he he. he, he just kept dying and i didn't want to to rebuild him and so i went for farak in the fat which uh so i i want to explain the way i i went for the hydra team so hydra team mm. team it's all about like surviving the fight as long as possible like uh, my 130 million i think i did uh 1200 turns like i always uh, i right. almost hit the 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 max the maximum turn uh, and so are you on here? Uh, in hard, hard, hard mode. And I think, yeah, 63 million. Damn, yeah. Yeah, and it's just like the team is built to survive and everything around uh, around uh, is like around Rattalos to boost this damage. Like the ally, the yeah. ally attack to, to stack him faster. Nia was there to... Um, so the way I, I thought, like I was counting every stack of Rattalos to make every oh, fifth... Yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I was trying to make every fifth stack uh, the, the, um, the second AoE. Oh, okay. So, AoE, oh, what? Yeah. The A2. Yeah. So I was trying yeah. to get his second A, uh, A2, always AoE. So first round, uh, for, uh, I'm starting with the, the, the A2 and I'm trying to, to, kill, to focus down one head. 
And yeah. then second, sec, I don't need to reset him uh, on the first round. So I was resetting Giscard to, to keep the Provoke up. Okay. Yeah. And then second round, I, I'm starting with the A2. And then reset the A2. Uh, like right after the, the first AOE A2, I'm resetting it. Nice. Do the A2 again, and then uh, the the 10 stack. Uh, it's another A A we A2 as well. So yeah, I was that's just clever, man. that's clever. I, I like was that. just stacking the the damage every five uh, every five hit. I was just doing like f like I think on my 130 million, some of the A2s was like five six million just one hit. Yeah, and how are you staying alive so long then? Because you've got I see um, three. Champs that but can look, keep you alive. Look a bit, at the, but... the, the Ugo um, uh, ascend, Ascension. I was crazy lucky to pull the four star Ugo. Yeah. And um, and I was wishing to, to hit the five star. And I think a week before the the challenge end, I saw the five the, the five star in the the in the um, uh, the what's it called the the shop in the shop yeah yeah and then i sold all my i, I think i have like a Crixia soul four star right, okay. <laughs> some some random uh, le le legendary four star and i sold yeah. everything to buy this guy so, so you bought star. i mean that's yeah that's i bought it for 35 like... yeah, yeah. yeah yeah i sold everything like uh, i and i i use all my resources in this to, to just bought the five because it's so huge the emergency ill it's nine percent every time you you lose the shield he's running blood shield accessory so every time yeah. he takes a turn he has the shield up and but, but it's it like doesn't, it's not helping crazy... the rest of your team right so obviously... no but but like who goes if he stays alive then he can always revive all my team if i if i'm dead yeah, because of yeah, his yeah. passive and his A3. Uh, did you find you needed to do that a fair few times then? A few, a few, uh, a few times in uh, like in the my 130 run, I think Ugo saved me once, yeah. and my 63 million he saved me once as well. Like at 30 million, my my t my whole team wiped. Ugo got got my team up, and then Arbiter uh, rolled, and then it, it went okay. Yeah, crazy. So like. Both of these run would end like at half, half the points I did because just Ugo saved it, the whole team. I'm, I'm interested and, that uh, Neo's got more healing here than even your Arbiter. I would have thought Arbiter would be like almost like a it's, secondary it's, healer, it's, but not so much. Yeah, but like Nia's passive, um, she's in a Guardian set, so every yeah, time she yeah. every time she healed uh, ten percent of his HP, she actually healed ten percent of that heal for the whole team. With his passive, so it's like it's oh, okay, yeah, through the through it's the like set. a passive heal every time she takes a turn, she passively heals the uh, the whole team, and his A two is like a forty percent heal. Yeah, with with yeah, a, cool. a full uh, um um uh, yeah. And again, like, if you're using her on manual, then she's a phenomenal champ. It's it's just because yeah. most people play the game on auto that she, she yeah, ends up but getting she's, left behind. She, yeah. she's like the manual queen, I think. Yeah. And I, yeah, I like pulled that. her like quite quite early, and I I didn't use her for I think a month or two. It was like I, I was like there's I don't find her use anywhere. And then I thought about it. It was like actually she's very interesting champ. And is a one yeah. in the uh, like I think in uh, both I my Hydra runs as well. Yeah, yeah. In both of my Hydra runs, I never used the A three. I think the A three. I never. Oh really? Used oh okay. So you don't want her to yeah. die. This is obviously dangerous. Yeah, I never. Yeah, and then like if the buff, if the ally protection gets stolen, then I'm eating my own Nia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just, yeah. I actually never used it uh, that skill. And, and, and has I, there been any other champs that have surprised you along the way? Um. So if you look at the ki killing the strike, I, I yeah, pulled the six that. star. Six star. I, yeah. I fully, I, I, I like, I build him like super high in damage. He's fast. I, I didn't book him because when I first t tested it, like he completely sucked. Right. Yeah. He, 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 I think I used him in uh, faction wars and one stage of Centranos and I never used him again. So, so uh, would you, um, to bear in mind, you've got him as strong as he's ever going to be. Would you say you would not build him again if you, if you had him in like another challenge or something? Yeah, I would not. Yeah, I would just sold the 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 six star blessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <fair> <laughs> because I put I put a lot of effort in this guy, and he he just sucks.
What, what about uh, this one, uh, that, Il Senia? Uh, so that's actually I ne um, when the Arbiter mission came for the the Force Champion, I needed to to ascend it six star. Yeah, she was my only option, and I didn't have the Ugo back then, and I, I needed a block buff, uh, block debuff. Um, yeah, block buff, um, uh, block debuffs. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, block debuff or block buff. Yeah. Anyway, I needed that skill to for Hydra at first, and then sh it's not it's not very consistent. I did I didn't have the book back then, so um yeah I six star her and never used her. No. Um, but other thing I wanted to mention, like look at my arbiter's build. She's pretty she's pretty strong too. Yeah, three ten speed with only two pieces of speed gear. Yeah, um, and the thing is, accuracy. like, what's what's the thinking there? Um, actually, so um, is the accuracy there is just because that's my fastest banner. But right. when I when I did my Hydra run, I actually switched to a resistant banner. If you go and I think okay. it's the 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 last row, the first one. I I so every time I I'm doing like content um like Hydra not Clambus but yeah it's it's mainly yeah. for Hydra I use that banner and in a, in normal mode the, like the resistance it's a huge difference like uh blocking provoke blocking poison yeah um, bet, not yeah. blocking but resisting uh like weaken like ju it just makes her so much uh, uh make her survive so much more. So, so basically, you've gone for your like key support champs, like your Arbiter and your Udo, in, high in resistance, like, high resistance, to, and yeah. like the tank. Yes, I could, I could bring them. Yeah, and no, that cool, that keep my 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 old team alive the longest. And I see you've done the same thing here in terms of like you found some yeah. groups that you could ascend. Yeah. And look at the gloves. Look at the gloves. They're pretty. They're, see. They're did pretty you do a rework? Sick. You did one rework on those. Yeah. Um, and then the gloves. Those yeah, those damn. are pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty sweet, yeah, yeah. Like that's the reason I I didn't put the speed. I was like, no, I'm I'm using that for my arbiters. It's pretty sweet. Like the twenty yeah. per extra defense. It's pretty fast glove. I needed could, the accuracy. Could you have done a faster build if you went all speed? Yeah, team? yeah, yeah. I think I I, I could uh, make it faster. I didn't I didn't try it, but uh, pretty sure I can. Uh, I just pulled like some uh, s some great uh, like fast speed gear like the 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 weapon there. Um, the yeah the Lego weapon is pretty fast. Oh yeah, okay. this one. And but uh, you can check my uh, my Armand's build as well. My Ar Ar Armand's build is quite crazy too. Like the accuracy on that guy is pretty crazy. Oh, 480, damn. Yeah, yeah, with the, like almost with nearly three hundred speed. speed. Damn it, man! That's yeah, um, yeah. that's like that's basically an end game build. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? that's like, crazy. It's basically end game build. Yeah, I was surprised I I could do that, but it's it, it's mainly because I I got um accuracy chest from uh, perception, like that carry the build. Uh, yeah, and I rolled yeah. a plus eight oh, on got it. Some some nice rolls as well. Yeah, yeah, some some flat HP but triple speed. But, but still, um, like, still room to grow. This is the thing. It's yeah, not like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, room to grow. 100%. Insane build. Like, they're, they're good pieces of gear, but they're not, like, totally nuts. Yeah, he's um, still rocking the five, five star, uh, uh, four star helmets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one speed roll and the banner. It's like, there's yeah. room to, to improve. The, the five star sure. banner with one speed roll. Yeah, there's, it's not, like, totally cracked. I mean, just, just on things like silver. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm doing pretty decent in silver. Like, look at my silver count. But did you find? So I've seen you got one fusion here. Do you think? Yeah. Like when you uh, did the that, other did one, I, I finished. I, I fi uh, actually, not that much. The, that fusion was pretty. Uh, was easier than I thought. Like I was super stressed when uh, because I needed that guy to beat Karim and uh, beat Panda. Yeah. Like I need this guy. But uh, it actually went pretty pretty easy, and I I just finished the other fu fusion yesterday. I got the hundred. Uh... Oh, did you? I've got this yeah. one. Istrid. Yeah, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's another big champ actually. I guess you've got Arbiter already. Do you, do you still think great champ? Uh, it's it's mainly for a uh, second team for Hydra because I want yeah, to build yeah. a second team. You know, I I've just got all the fragments for my main account. I think she's a really good champ like yeah she, 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 I, did, she, I was she, just like damn uh, she's really good you know that neck motar she's she's definitely yeah. like a uh, neck motar with different 
It's also a There's some different debuffs. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. It's really, it's really She's nice. got tier in Hydra, I think. Got tier. Yeah. I, I, did, where were you on that one, Karim? Uh, sorry? Have you been, where were you on this fusion? Were you trying to go for this one as well? Yeah, I need like five more fragments. And yeah. um, so basically, um, in this um, summon rush, I have uh, even now in the area of the Lego books. So I got like the uh, the gem chase and the summon rush. And from there, it's like easy. And I, we did like the same fusions, JS and me. So yeah, we was... both skipped the uh, Ankora one because Actually, yeah. I wanted to. Yeah, I didn't skip her. I was like five fragments short, and then I went. Oh, to... are you crazy? Yeah, yeah crazy. I, was... I, I was like at forty fragment. I totally, I like hundred percent skipped it. I was like, Arbiter's better. I'm just getting Arbiter faster if I skip mm. that one, mm. and I, I skipped. I will say, like, she's she's also been a huge carry on my account. Like, oh, she's she's very great. good. She's very good. Yeah, she's very. And good. I think like... in Hydra, there's there's some uh, like. I heard someone in the challenge, she was using her with uh, like a super squishy Renegade. And then right. Renegade was dying. She was reviving ah, Renegade, resetting yeah, Renegade, yeah. and Renegade resetting the old team. And she, it was just keep uh, keep uh, the cycle going, you know? Yeah, that's and interesting, actually. I like that. All the team was like, uh, keep keep getting uh, skilled reset every, every time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how did you find the arena stuff? Uh, f for the arbiter mission, I think I spent like over a thousand gems on Arena. It was Just crazy. refreshing. Yeah, refreshing because um, the timing was awful for me. I had to spend some gems in uh, to open some keeps and to save a week. I needed oh, really? to, to. I I think I needed like um, over five hundred. Um, uh, what's it called? The the resource there. Uh, the gold bars i needed yeah. like over 500 until the end of the day so one day i just <laughs> right. spent like crazy amount of gems just getting that five because otherwise it would have, it would have delayed arbiter for a week yeah that's this is it and uh, yeah there are like pockets of time if you're going to try and push arbiter fast you have you to gotta, be planning ahead don't you like, you have to be looking yeah like... yeah plan ahead and uh, like mm. You, you, you basically have to have your phone uh, with a 15 minutes timer and every uh, every 15 minutes you refresh arena yeah i mean would you say like because obviously you're working as well i don't know if you're able to use your phone at work or whatever but do you um did you did you basically like cut your sleep amount by a reasonable level to do this yeah uh like i said earlier uh when we were chatting uh I think before we started the video, um, hmm. like I did a lot, a lots of point, but I slept a lot less than you, I think, um, because I like I, with my uh, full time job, I, I didn't have the time to 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 play uh, most of the time. So like sometime I'm finishing work at uh, twelve or getting home at one a.m. and then um, I didn't do nothing on the account. So I gotta I gotta grind for two or three hours. So until four a.m. and then I start back at nine the next morning. So uh, yeah. yes, some of the nights I just um, slept like one or two hours and then went uh, <laughs> went back to went back to work you know yeah and yeah that was like the, the the every friday night actually i didn't i didn't sleep uh more than three hours for the past three months <laughs> wow that's that's insane like commitment to this man <laughs> but that, yeah I, I was committed to to win i wanted to win yeah. and i knew i could and uh i was just head down and super uh super focus on that and i yeah. i know i don't win nothing it just i'm just like that i'm built like that you know <laughs> yeah no that's cool I mean, this is probably like when when i was blown away by i guess the doom tower rotation on hard blown away by karim's area bonuses this for me is insanity in three months so you've yeah. beaten Aldrin tribes high elves barbarians uh, yeah in three and, months uh, and then you've I, nearly I, beaten banner lords as well and oh Silver and Watcher silver and watchers yeah, Silver Watchers That's fully insane, done. insane, dude. Like, how the hell is that happening? Well, I have, I don't know, man. Uh, like, like Bar Barbarian, it's mainly Armands with um, the the speed, the turn meter one, you know. Um, what's it, what she's called? The freebies we all get. Um, uh, I could tune. So oh, yeah, yeah, uh, okay. it's yeah. mainly like just I just need to to uh, get the decrease speed on the bus with I could tune the A1. 
And then Armand, with the speed I have on Armand's, he can just cycle through his uh, A2 and keep the bus, even though, uh, because the, the bus frees when when he gets a, uh, uh, he, there's a chance to Armand to get freeze when he, he's hit, uh, when the bus is hit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, so I have to cycle one more turn. So the decrease speed may may like even though Armand get get frozen, he he he's fast enough to 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 do his eight to eight cycle two back again. again. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to cycle back again. So, but, so just but just these in general, two though. Like in general, because I'm looking through here, I'm not you don't have and even on the the scoreboard, you don't have insane amounts of six stars here you've got like uh, well, I, 18 I, you've got a lot i'm not, look, yeah, I'm not i got a lot you've got a lot but when we're talking about faction wars i'm assuming you just basically pick one six star and then decide right well who's gonna hit hit me up as a five star that's gonna do the job because you can't actually be, you know no. the ugo's faction i did the i, I fully three star the faction with three level 30 it was just did you ugo yeah. and scrank yeah, like and then uh, Ugo and uh, uh, Scrang killing all the waves, and at the last wave, um, I'm just making sure Scrang was dying before, just before um, the the run was over, and then I was reviving the just whole reviving. team, and then kill kill with Scrang. It was just just yeah. that's it. So like you can do a faction wars with level thirties if you if you think about like a uh, if you have the guess... revivers. If yeah, you have the revivers. Yeah, champs like Gordrab, Arbiter. Yeah, ex exactly. Ugo. Exactly. Yeah, like Arbiter one. I think I have three level forty on the team. It's just mainly Arbiter. Oh no, I have one one sixty with the Elysia, the the one. Yeah. Yeah, she has, she actually sucks. So she doesn't do much <laughs> in in yeah. that team. She, it's mainly like Arbiter and um, Royal Guard. Royal Guard. Yeah. Making yeah making it. I also got to clear the high elves and for the barbarians. Um, I have just a scuff team compared to what JS has, but um, I can just not clear like the last boss. But yeah, Armand's waves are a joke. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Armand's just, just totally to like the bypasses the game for yeah, for waves yeah. at least. Anyway, yeah. Even Doom Tower, it, it goes level fifty. Armand's Doom Tower hard. Um, the only difficult stage was 112 with the three torments in wave two. I tried like oh yeah, right. That was times. that was headache for for the both of us. Like we well, talked about that. Just relying on RNG or yeah, or, it was um, just pure yeah. pure pure RNG. Yeah, you have to go through the second wave with the three torment. Once you did, then it's it's all good. But yeah, I, I what think, about uh, uh, Sintranos for you? Did you do much in there? Uh, last rotation, I did actually pretty good. I did 77 uh, stage in normal. Okay. Like I was in uh, Soul Cross. I did like, I yeah. think, eight stages. I, I went to, um, I was stuck at the the bus. Um, what's it called? Um, the blue one. Yeah, this one. The Sand Devil. Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. I got stuck at the Sand Devil last rotation. Sure. That's pretty and, crazy, yeah. And uh, in art, I I was art stuck at twenty four stage. So I did right. a couple of buses, but uh, this this time around, I think I'm I'm building right now Elva. That um, so I'm I think I'm gonna do uh, do pretty well. Like I'm I'm stuck yeah. at stage one, the P one. Elva's gonna is gonna uh, the yellow one, uh, uh, right? Oh, yeah, 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 this one. Elva's gonna is gonna unlock that stage for me. Yeah, nice. Just Elva and and, and I guess and I guess it, that's what it what it needs. Like in just depth of roster, isn't it? At that point, for for Centralis, yeah. it's like, can I get yeah. enough sixties and fifties that actually mm -hmm. make some sense? Um, look, I guess we've been chatting for a good hour. So yeah, if yeah people are still long, watching. Yeah. Thanks for watching, by the way. But I just want to say to to the both of you, it's been awesome having you in the competition because I think it it allows people to see what is achievable on free to play accounts up and beyond, you know, even what we're showing on content creator stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's just been super fun and, and seeing your achievements coming in, I think it's helped some of the other people that have been playing certainly in doom tower early on, people are like, how are you doing it? And you sharing your teams is like help people get through different stages. So it's been super cool to see actually. Yeah. Um, last thing I wanted to mention, I forgot to mention earlier in the video It's just, yeah, don't farm dungeon. Dungeon sucks. Okay, I, the only time I farm a dragon, go, ice golem, or fire knight was just to doing Armand's fusion. I never went there 
uh, once i think really the entire right. challenge yeah because like look at all my champion champ champion gear it's mostly perception relentless um uh clan bus uh clan bus thing um yeah, items like the cruel and ones. some sp some speed i got like i got super lucky in my you know the six star speed speed gear you get in the nightmare yeah like i, I got most of my speed gear there <laughs> damn so actually yeah. yeah i'm looking here so Perception everywhere. Perception is such a good set. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I but... focus uh, faction wars for uh, like so hard that uh, I, I have I had a ton of perce perception gear. Yeah, and I noticed on Karim your account you had a lot of Slayer gear, which obviously is is the mm -hmm. um, the pass. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I got, and I got... and I guess Doom Tower. Like you guys are farming Doom Tower so hard that yeah, you're going to get sets from that as well, right? The Guardian gear on hard early. Uh... This is like another shout out to support gems. If you cannot build content, you can build it with a lot of support. And damage is the one thing. Um, I still remember like your one video about how to do damage. It was like like a PowerPoint presentation style. Like yeah, yeah, um, sure. I still have that in mind. Yeah, so I learned from that. Um, and also another thing is the tooling. Um, like I spent, uh, like I have the rate in the one window and on the left-hand side of my screen, I have uh, like five uh, tabs of the uh, Hades website open, the optimizer. Um, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. To the artifacts. Um, so I'm looking like the rating. Is it, could it be godlike? Then I level up this. Um, then I look like which is at 15 or 11 in the in the events, etc. Yeah, so it's, and it's do you, that's, that's interesting. A lot of people say early accounts, the optimizer doesn't really help them out. Mm -hmm. are, are you guys both saying that you used it for like gearing and stuff? Or oh, actually, uh, I actually didn't use it. You don't I... use it, JS, no. Yeah, but, but you, Karim, saying you do, did use yeah. it for every day. I it. choose like I uh, look for masteries. Uh, I look the rate stages tool, um, maybe underrated uh, to look like what what do I need to hit for uh, accuracy resistance and yeah, stuff. yeah. So uh, building once rather than wasting silver by having yeah. to tweak builds over and over. I mean, the the team optimizer is known. My problem was um, I couldn't find better teams than mine. <laughs> nice nice but the artifacts um yeah that uh, was a very big help and time server yeah cool it would it would have helped me to be honest but uh like um karim told me about it like uh on the last day of the competition it was like okay so you've been cheating all this time <laughs> 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 i'm kidding i told him like okay you're not free to play you pay you pay the uh, uh, hell hades website subscription so that's not free to play <laughs> yeah. dude He's out. stop He's cheating out. okay <laughs> you've been cheating this whole three months <laughs> yeah i'm kidding <laughs> oh man yeah that's no, it's cool as i said like thank you so much it's, it's all awesome to see what you've done um and yeah and it's been a, a really fun competition like if, if we were to do it again next year is is there any like rule that you think would be awesome to to try out as as you know to um, mix so it up so we talk about this, uh, me and Panda, and I think that the the thing about no leg le uh, legendaries, I think it um, like a lot of people quit the competition because they didn't pull the right epics, and then they pull the Lego and they can use it. So I yeah. think like uh, opening it up the legendary, it's, it wouldn't be a uh, like uh, a bad thing because. Uh, it's about uh, the fun part, yeah. Right, you want to pull Legos, you want to use them. They're like the yeah, yeah, and, and it's part of the game. Fixed. And I think like it, it, it made the, this challenge very interesting to you just use epics, honestly. And it was just a, a pure challenge. But um, yeah, but you, you uh, think open it up for the next one? Uh, yeah. I think next one only mystery shards, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> No, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Only rares, only. Let's just uh, open up the rares, at least. Yeah, I would allow the Legos and maybe um, maybe limit the Hydra scores uh, somehow or so. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because... the point The point thing we... No, kinda... don't limit the Hydra, bro. It's, hey. <laughs> uh, we had my... to kind of tweak the point story a little bit on the on the yeah fly, yeah honestly. yeah because oh. i did too much and then uh, like i i think staff told me he's like how the fuck you had eighteen thousand points <laughs> yeah yeah it was just like oh no like the one thing we even had a conversation me and staff had a conversation when he first put the story out it's like the hydra looks like it could be a bit top heavy 
And he goes, no, yeah. no one's going to get anywhere near that in three months. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> And yeah, then at the end yeah. we're like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when I started this competition, it was like, I, like not the first week, but the the first, uh, I think, one or, months or two, I knew Hydra was the hand game goal. Like, the, the winner was the, the, the biggest Hydra run. So I focused my entire, like, three months just trying to get, like, uh, a good Hydra team going on. So, and then yeah. and uh, one week before the end, oh, the points changed. I lost, like, three, three I, I think I lost 4,000 points, but I was still ahead, so... <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. Congrats to you. Yeah. You deserved it, and you even have I, you you deserve man all the applause. You did some amazing amazing things as well. It was crazy. You even helped me with my Hydra team. Yeah, so like the last day, I was uh, able to snipe you if I had a better. Yeah, problem. yeah. But I told you I'm gonna help you, but don't beat me, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. Well, I just 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 to find find like uh, finish it off. Sorry, we are gonna send you both some HH gaming merch as like a a bit of a well done. Um, oh, that's so, crazy! That's, yeah, that's cool. I'll grab that's you. Cool. I'll grab your sizes and stuff afterwards. But um, yeah, awesome, awesome competition between you two guys, and, and awesome to see you know everything you've done. So thank you so much for coming on the channel. And um, yeah, n not not at all, not at all. It's been a lot of fun. Awesome. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.